take you on a pose if you're down I might put an ass on snows if you're down Maybe we could break the rules if you're down Just let me know, yeah, if you're down Let me feel so sure when I'm with you Like baby, when I fall, you pick me up Like you bless me with What's up, Lowell family? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video, guys. And we are here with my beautiful daughters. We got London and Charlotte in the building. Sisters. Oh, Lime Green sister. I like that. No, oh. family sisters. Oh, family sisters? How does it look as a green one? Green filter. Oh, look at that. You want to see? Put it, on. Put it over your face. That's green weird. Filter. It's not weird. It's actually like a um, sci-fi movie or some scary movie or something. But listen, guys, today we are vlogging. How are you guys feeling right now? Um, I'll be sick and good at the same time. You're good and sick at the same time. Yeah, listen, I'm not too happy right now because um, my kids are getting a little sick. My baby not feeling too well right now, and I'm really worried. So, um, as you guys see, my baby's not in the vlog with us. Yes. She um she was feeling a little better earlier, but then all of a sudden she was feeling up for a headache and stuff like that. So as you guys can see right here, I'm cooking. So I just finished cooking. I cooked some stewed chicken, and this is mongol. So this is like crushed plantain, green plantain. So I'm gonna um, feed my baby right now because my baby is not feeling too well. Kids, y'all ready to eat? Yeah. Baby, how are you feeling? I feel a little bit sick, so I guess when I was on live, I was drinking tea, mm -hmm. but both my kids, so Scarlett came down with a fever the other day, like two days ago, um, Saturday she was really sick with the fever and stuff too, and now London's coming down with it, and I feel like Me the pressure too, on my I'm head, so I guess I'm coming down with a sickness, but... I'm gonna tell my husband to make me some remedy to take it away. I got you, babe. Don't worry about it. So, God, listen. Um, a little bit over. Yeah, you can come. You can tell and me. And I something. guess, like, in the nighttime, your body, your immune system gets more weak. Mm hmm. Because it's a little bit weak. So. So, it started off with Scarlett feeling sick. Scarlett getting sick first. Mm -hmm. And now it's London over here getting sick. And my baby right here getting sick. Yeah. So, you can tell me something. Walk and talk to me. And guys, I'm super coffee a little bit, but mm -hmm. I'm coffee a lot tonight. Morning time oh. and dark time. Oh, night time you cough a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. and the winter and the sun. <laughs> every in the bed. I cough everywhere in the family. I cough at the people. I'm sorry. I got to cover my mouth and mm -hmm. then I'm crazy and I don't know what to do. Now I cough. <laughs> you crazy and you know what to do? <laughs> yeah, listen, um... I'm gonna take care of my family. You guys gonna feel good tomorrow. So right, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna y'all gotta eat first thing first. I don't thing want first. you to get sick. No, I'm not gonna get sick. I'm a black okay. man. Remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, listen, guys. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share the food before it get cold. I just finished cooking. My baby was there relaxing, guys. So I'm gonna show you guys. You want some tea? I'll make you some tea too. I think. I think I was also, um, I might get some onions. What helps with the throat? To try to help. What helps with the throat? Um, lime and honey. Yeah, lime and honey help the throat. What about ginger tea? Ginger tea help with, um, the mucus that you the have. Immune system. Uh, immune system, stuff like that. But the best thing for your throat is lime and honey. Yeah. I can do lime and salt. Ooh, yeah. Lime and salt? Yeah. Alright, so guys, listen. I'm going to give them the home natural remedy for lime and throat. Sore throat. I can't. Mm -hmm. My list tongue. Though I normally say sore throat. Like <laughs> sore. Right. Say sore. Sore throat. Sore throat. There, there you go. go. Yeah. So I say sore throat. Like what? <laughs> sore. Like sore. Like a so sore throat. 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 Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Sore. So I'm I'm gonna make London some natural remedy for sore throat. And my mm -hmm. baby got a headache. 
so I'm gonna make you some. Um, Maybe this is like a sinus thing going on with me. Oh yeah, now. I think like some this, tea. Yeah. Some tea, some ginger tea will make you feel better. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely gonna make you some tea. Scott loves ginger tea, so mm -hmm. she's gonna drink some ginger tea. London hates ginger tea, so. Um, don't tell her nothing about ginger garlic. She don't like that at don't all. Don't tell me anything about shrimp throat either, because like I hate when that long swab <laughs> just goes on your throat. I'm very sensitive about my throat. It's going to kill me one day. Yeah, London is scared of throat but You're guys, still scared of that? Yeah. A little bit, but not as scared as I used to be. When like, London was like, she was five, right? Yeah. When London was five, we'll take it to the doctor. Don't we'll see what's drop, drop, drop a clip. He's going to drop a clip. You want a clip on no, me? No, don't. No, 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 no. Just like one second. That's one second, just one second, because she was crying. Well, you're the baby, no. though. So when she was five, we took her to the hospital because she had like strep, strep throat. I literally couldn't talk. And she was crying because she was so scared for them to put the thing down her throat. And she would, she would not allow them. They had to tie her down. Literally. I, literally, I literally bit bit them. Every time they put their finger in my mouth, I was like, ah. <laughs> they like, literally. Yes. And I was yes. yelling at the same time. Ah, right. They, they look. Go wait. ahead. Go ahead. London used to cry lots. The core, mm -hmm. and I was there, right? Where I went home. No, you wasn't there. You, Lana was five. You wasn't there yet. She was. She, she was wasn't born. born yet. Yeah, she was born. Oh, then she I, was. Then no, I. She was pregnant. I think mom was. No. About to give birth. Come on. Scott was there, no. No. Was you six already? I think she was six, or I think Scott was. Scott was there. No, Scott wasn't there. We're six years apart. Yeah, Scott wasn't there, baby. Oh yeah, you too. I so wasn't Lana, born yet. Scott, you wasn't, she wasn't born. Yet. You wasn't. They didn't born. Oh, then I, then I was baby like in mom's stomach, right? But I bet she no, heard it, it from inside the stomach. No, it wasn't daddy. It wasn't daddy sack. Thinking oh. to come out. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I don't know. He doesn't have a stomach. So guys. No, it goes in my sack. Yeah, sack. <laughs> sack is his bowl. <laughs> That's where the sperm is for men. Okay, so you know what that means. <laughs> Alright, so she was screaming like a maniac and um, everybody had to come in and tie her down. Literally. Instead of her just opening her mouth. One time. She was so scared. What, what, what was going through your head? Why you didn't want to do like it? She don't like to feel the throw up, right? I don't like gagging. Oh. Mm, okay. That's why I don't go too far with the back of my tongue with my toothbrush because I'm like gagging her. Gagging her. Like, you don't like it, right? Like, if you do that, it's fine. It's normal. It's pretty normal. You know that, right? Yeah, because you gotta go to the back of your tongue. Yo, I gag. I brush my teeth and I gag and I, I make the ugliest things. I'm getting... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gagging like everything. <laughs> I like to see everybody's face when they gag when they brush their teeth because that's the me, ugly face. Me, you should right? see me. My eyes, <laughs> my eyes look, they roll up and then <laughs> I look like a cat who's about to die. <laughs> like, like, I'm like... <laughs> yeah, that gag face be crucial, man, to be honest. That's the silliest When I be doing it, I be hiding from my baby, man. I can't go see me gag. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, guys, before the food get cold, let me show y'all food and everybody can eat. Yeah. And, show, um, them, show them Show Wait, them let me the have that salt on mine. Share it. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all the food after, after I share it, guys. Mm -hmm. I got to um, share my family some food so they could eat. And I have to be strong for my family, man. I have to take care of my family right now. So, London. I've been a sore throat, whatever it is. So I'm gonna give you some little warm remedy to get rid of that. My tumor gonna feel good. You have a little headache, call it. I got you. I don't worry about it. So listen, I'm gonna talk to you guys soon. Let me go share the food before I get too cold, and then I'm gonna turn the camera on when you're about to eat. So see ya in a few minutes. My baby love onions. I gave a lot of onions. I don't like onions at all, so I'm not eating no onions. So these are for the kids. So this is some stewed chicken with mongol which is boiled plantain. And this is London remedy with her lime and salt. This is really good for sore throat and stuff like that. London, yeah. come here. Hi. Come here, princess. All right, come. I'm making the tea right here. So guys, the tea is boiling. So listen, come. This is your um, ginger, yep, not your ginger tea. This is the lime and salt. That's really good for your Soy That's throat. Good. Try it. Taste it first. You don't drink it like that. You sip on it. Ooh. Mm. You like you like sour? Mm. I used to hate this as a kid. My mom mm. used to give it to me. I used to die. Mm -hmm. You don't drink it like that one time? Mm. Wow. Good job. Give five. Mm. Yeah, swallow it. Swallow it. You don't taste something bad? You like sour? God, look. She does this man. This man like that. I'm not done. There's a lot left. Wow. 
I was thinking you're gonna make some ugly face or something right now. God, listen. When I was a kid, my mom used to give me that lime and salt. I used to die. Hold <laughs> 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 on, listen, come here. Listen, I'm about to share the food right now. I want you to be mean to me and mom. So this is where you're gonna start it. You're gonna be mean about the food to dad. The food tastes bad. I don't like it. I'm not so, gonna eat it. So, so you're gonna be a brat. So like do I ask you for anything and you say no? Like, ask for whatever. But I want you to start acting a brat when I give you the food right now. <laughs> Cause mom waiting for the food. I'm just waiting for the tea to be done. So when I put the food on the table, you're gonna say you don't like it. Cause I'm gonna tell you while eating, right? So you're gonna say you don't like the food. The food tastes bad, so be a be a brat. When mom says something, say, shut up, you're not even sick. Like, I'm the one that's sick, so what do you mean to mom too? So guys, I feel bad doing this, cause my baby not feeling good right now. But it's team shame, you have to prank her right now, team London in the building. So we're gonna get back her right now, so go, go. So she don't know what we're talking right now. So guys, listen, this prank about to be on right now, so stay tuned for this one. I got this, I got this. It's in the teeth already, I strain it. And this thing that looks strong right now, so let me get there food. So baby, here, you first. I gotta feed my baby first. Come here, your food is ready. Okay, should I get it? No, it's right. Y'all wanna eat on the table over there? Over here. Over here. Y'all wanna eat over there? Yeah. What you think? I think we should eat on the table. You don't wanna this mess this good couch no, up. No, no, please. Really? No, we gotta eat right here, guys. I'll take this seat. We always eat on the dinner table, guys. Come on. Let's just eat on the couch. Ooh, I wanna rate this. Wait, that's my seat. Oh. Yeah, I think. Lan yeah. Where I always sit? I sit you here. sit over here. I sit here. Lana always sit there though. No, I don't. And I Mom sit there? And I always sit Scott, here. Scott, I always sit here. Uh, Alright, let me get no, your food, guys. So this is... I'm about to rate this food, Scott, baby. wait, hold on. Hold on, wait for me. Oh. Scott, baby, no time to play with toys now, baby. Put it away. Guys, it's hard to eat on this table because it's so decorated. Look, <laughs> you got decoration everywhere. My baby Sorry. be killing decoration everywhere. <laughs> we can't have a normal table to eat on in, in peace. But I love it though. So here you go. London. Here's your food. Me dance. Let me get my food. Alright guys, so listen, um let's break this food. I'm gonna invite you in our dinner table in this vlog. So let's show them how we do it. Guys, we gotta pray you guys know that already. So oh, babe, I'm so hungry about it. I know, I know. Right, but we gotta invite them in our home for a second because we're vlogging, right? Yeah. So we're gonna show you guys how we always do our dinner routine. Okay. So the food is ready. Let me get tea for you, baby. I got it. Here you go. Let's pray. Scott, here's a tea. Lonnie, you want water now? Um, sure. Babe, she finished that so fast. The little lime and salt I gave her. She love lime. I know, Sam, you're rushing me. That's a sign of Russian, I know. Oh, <laughs> I see no, it. It's no. fine, it's fine. I'm even rushing me right now. Can I move this so I can see your face? Yeah, of course. You want to move this one too? Yeah, man. Right. Decoration is over here. Okay. I love it though. I ain't gonna hold you, but it's time to right eat. Now? I don't want to see no decoration, man. No problem, honey, bunny. Eat, eat, eat. 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 E
a 10 out of a 10 or mm -hmm. something. So I always rate my mom's food and my sister's food and my husband's food. And I'm excited to rate it because this is my favorite yeah. food. I'll go right after Mamba's. Okay, you're gonna go. You're gonna rate it too. Yeah. Okay. Me too. You can't rate with that little thing. Put some gravy on there. You want uh, more gravy? I mean, I have a um a bit, just so I can't get it before it's done. You can do it. I'm thinking to the tea too. I like it. I Thank love you, it. Ten out of ten. All right, I'm gonna Thank go you, now. Babe. Okay. Go. Thank you, babe, for this food. You're welcome. I appreciate you. I love it. it tastes delicious. Ah. Okay, nine. Thank you so much. Um, zero out of time. What? What's wrong with it? This is horrible. Wait, what? You eating on so you're not gonna eat? Why the hell would you do that? How about say thank you? Thank Are you out of your mind? I don't like it. You just pray to God and you're acting like a damn fool. You don't like it, so what about you don't like? Mom, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This I sucks. sucks. That's my fault. What's your fault, baby? Because I did all my fault and it's not my fault, baby, but it's my fault. What's your fault, baby? Just it's not your fault that she don't like your food. London, eat your food, okay? I don't like it though. London, you don't make anyone feel bad. Okay? We're <laughs> vlogging and this is just not the appropriate way to go about it. I'm fine. just being honest. No, stop being so mean to mom, I promise. It's fine, I'll cut it up. I'll cut it up. But um you wanna make it something else? Uh so what? Eat the food or challenge chicken, buy buy any chicken, you might like it. No, it's not it. It's probably your worst meal yet. Are you serious, man? Uh, other food Are you lying to me? Food taste, man? That food tastes good to me. It's called other food, baby. Good. What's wrong with you, alright? I don't like yeah, it. Like, so what is wrong with you? I'm not saying anything wrong. So you think what you're saying is right? Yeah. Baby, sick. That's what I do, sick. Yes, I can't. So can I have something else? else? No, you, it was there. Yeah, Wait. I'm not eating it. Lana, you gotta try the chicken though. Dig in the chicken. Let me show you. Wait, try the chicken this time. Daddy. Yeah, baby. Um, who made this food? I just said thank you for it. I made it, baby. Oh, thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. Try the chicken, Lana. Try it. Okay. See? Okay. Like it? She's gonna really piss me off. Stop, London. Stop. I can't. But you need to eat. There's no choice, London. Yeah, there's no choice. Exactly. I can't eat this. I'll eat both food. Okay. Somebody else can have it. I can't eat her food, baby. London, um. The only thing there is mac and cheese. You gotta, you gotta eat other foods. You can't just eat mac and cheese, McDonald's. I'm sorry, I don't like that. That's horrible. Yeah, but you, you know what you like though? The only food you like is food It's that, food horrible. That. That's horrible, the food you like. Yeah, the food you like is not healthy for you. You like chicken tender, french fries, McDonald's. Chicken nuggets, chicken french nuggets, fries, same french thing fries, every day. french fries. Macaroni and cheese every day. It's like, no, no, you gotta eat good food. This, this is planting. This, this is from the tree. This is the worst. Blended enough. Alright, you want me to add some, some stuff on it for you or something? Some ketchup, some salt, no, I want garlic. I bet you don't like it. Um, I will cut it off. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna feed you. How about you make like oatmeal for her? Cause she oatmeal today. For her, can you oatmeal? I make the oatmeal today, really. Alright, dog. Alright, let me eat my food and I'll make you something because I don't know. But there's not going to be no playing anyway. If you don't eat your food, that's it. I'm not eating this. That's no. Scarlett, leave her food there. I'm saying the beehive. You're really pissing me off, you know that? I'm really disappointed in you because in this family, you don't make nobody feel bad. You understand? I'm just being honest. No, you need to be grateful. 
I don't know where the hell you learned that from. Honest. I don't know where Dad learned his cooking skills. London, I'm serious. Stop it. Are you serious right now? Yeah. So, and then what the hell did you just say? Do you have any cooking skills? Because if you can make a better meal, let me know. It's okay, baby. It's you don't do that. You're disrespecting people. You're making someone feel bad. Do you realize what you're doing? No, no, do me a favor, please. If you don't like the food, you don't have to speak on it. You don't got to voice up and ask me. You're being honest. And we don't want to be honest. Yes. But at least. That's not honest because it tastes good. I don't know what's going on. That's your opinion, but I don't like it. I don't like it, so you want me to make another meal for you. Which you probably will not you probably never like it either. Eating the same thing every day. Mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, french fries. You don't like to eat good cooked food. Every time we cook food for you gotta force you to eat it. Like, come on, you gotta enjoy it, please. I don't like it. I'm sorry, I just don't like it. So you're gonna die if you eat it? Probably. Oh my god, this kind of speaks to me almost. Oh god, so listen. Don't worry, baby, I'm gonna cut out all that, so I'm not gonna show. Mmm. But you gotta worry about it. I know your camera's all I don't here. even feel good to be going through this right now. You don't feel good? I don't feel good. You're not sick. I'm the one who's sick. London, mom anything. is sick. London, stop. London, where the hell are you getting this from? Are you okay? London, you do. Am, Am I okay? No, I feel sick. You don't. No, no, what do you mean I don't feel sick? I'm the one who's sick. Man, don't listen to her, babe. London do the most of it. London, you're being very disrespectful. I don't appreciate it. You're not being disrespectful, they don't realize. No. I want you to stop right now. I can't. Come on, grab it, babe. No, I want you to leave it on because I'm gonna show her why she's punished. I'm gonna show everybody. Okay. I'm not punished. I'm not punished. Yeah, you are punished. You are. I'm not. So you're punishing me, me, because this disgusting food. Lana, you had a nerve. Like, if you could cook, I understand. If you could cook, I really understand. You know what disgusting is, Eagle, baby, Eagle. Scarlett? Why you have it in your food too? I'm gonna feed the baby. You're a big girl. No, I can't feed no more. Look, that's good. I'm gonna cut it off for you. No, that's good. It's sick. I'm cutting it in. Shoot. Let's see. 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 Where you got that from? I'm not playing with you. I'm getting frustrated right now. I'm telling you. No, eat your food for real. I'm being serious. I don't like him. No, I'm being serious now. Eat your food for real. I'm not gonna make you anything else. Eat your food, please. My mom didn't give me a choice, Brenda, when I was eating. No. The food is not that bad. I didn't see the chicken at least. No, can you, sir? Excuse me? The chicken's even worse. Listen, no good, sir. No, what's wrong with you? It's not your first time cooking a chicken. Last time I cooked it, you eat it with no problem. What's the problem now? You just want to make it hard for everybody? That's what we're doing, we're making it hard for each other? No, I just want to be honest this time. So why eat it last time? Last multiple times I made it. You didn't make this multiple times. Yes, I did. This is the second time you made it. I made it a lot of times. Stop then. it. Okay? Stop it. Eat your food. I don't like it. Let's call it. Stop playing with this, baby. And you eat your food as well. Eat, it, baby. Uh, she probably doesn't even like it even. If I do, then why am I sick? Stop it. Do you like it or not, Scarlett? I'm yeah. just gonna go to why bed. You, why are you making me feel bad too? You don't want to eat it? I'm gonna yeah. go to bed. I don't. You're not. I think I'm gonna go to bed. London, sit down right now. Babe, I got it. It's too sick for this. I, am I got this. She's not sick at all. I'm the one who's sick. No, you, you don't look sick to me at all because now you're acting like this. If you're sick, you're going to be acting like this. My throat hurts. So your throat hurts. Why are you talking so much? 
Yeah. I'm not talking that, that much. Just eat the food and relax. That's it. I'm sorry, no can do. Um, Alright, babe, listen, I'm gonna turn the camera off right now because yeah. at least we can show what she asked so she know whatever reason. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just please turn it off. I don't have a reason to be punished. You do! I don't. You're being just. I swear to God. Why are you talking back so much? What's going on with you? I'm getting in the way. Stop talking back, Lauren. It's fine. I'm not talking back. Yes, you are. I'm not. Yes, you are. Not. Yes, you are. Not. Do you hear yourself, Arna? Yes, you are. Nope. All right, baby, listen. Did you say mom is sick? I'm sick. London. Babe, listen. <laughs> what the? It's just a bread. <laughs> what? I only get to eat that, the food, right. actually. Eat the food fast, fast. We're getting cold. Babe, listen, I was trying to get in there, but I told her to do it. So I, I to be a student. Scott, eat your food, baby, please. Yeah. Oh, my baby, French are full. You want some more gravy or what? I like a lot of gravy in this food. Mama. This food Mama. tastes good with a lot of gravy. Oh, please. For real, it tastes good. It, it tastes good regardless, but I love it with a lot of gravy on it. So, guys, listen. Thank you for tuning in on this quick prank. Shout out to London. Give me five, London. Give me, give me five. All right, Lana came through for this one. But anyway, guys, um, we love you guys. I'm gonna keep vlogging. My baby don't feel too well. I have a headache. Oh, your headache going on? What drink your tea, babe? I am. Leave it on here. Let's talk to them. Yeah, you wanna talk to them too? Yeah. All right. That did actually still hurts. Does it? Oh, you got away. What you think? I wish that was the way it worked. They truly. Stop me in a prank, but whatever. They were getting so upset, man. Um, I'm not in the mood for chicken lately. I don't know what it is, but this baby never liked meat, man. I don't know why. Since you I'm like pregnant, meat, though? I do, mm -hmm. but. But the baby don't like meat. Yeah, today I took a piece. It made me a little nauseous. I said, I'm not going to eat no chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is usually my favorite chicken he makes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, the baby just be acting up. The mango is so delicious. Does that mean the baby's not gonna eat chicken when it comes out? You know, he said he didn't like me. No, I didn't like me when I was growing up. a baby. <gasps> Even I was like, Lana, he doesn't like me. Mm -hmm. So I see rice and gravy on. Yeah. yeah. That's the cravings I'm getting now, baby. Just gravy. I'm not gonna eat some meat today, not today. I'll probably eat some meat tomorrow. You know me, I think it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what guys? I ate my whole meat. That's right. <laughs> you wanna eat my meat? It's fine. I ate my whole meat. And he likes the he likes the drumstick part. And I only eat the flat part. I don't like no other piece of meat. I feel I felt so bad doing this prank on dad. Because he put his heart into this. About how does it taste? Rate it for real. Good. It's really good, right? I love it. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Thank you. Because I called in the kitchen though. I called in the kitchen to let's do a prank of mom. Yeah, but I heard y'all speaking, but y'all wasn't talking about that. Y'all was talking about lemon. Yeah, they were left. That's how it's the living room. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's I that? Like, yeah, because I hear y'all talking about lemon. You was like, wow, you like that? You was vlogging mm -hmm. on her. I was. Yeah, I, I didn't rushed get to the, I the black living room to um. You see what they do to me? It's alright, I'm gonna get you back. No. <laughs> because you was about to get your butt punished. <laughs> you okay? You got a piece of bone? Yeah, I'm not. So I was about to punish London, I swear. She pissed me off, you know. Guys, when you pray for your food, be thankful. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the taste. There's a lot of hungry kids out there. I wish Ooh, I could feed them all. Food. Mm -hmm. You know? And you have to be grateful, you know? This food tastes good, man. I love cooking, you know? This food tastes delicious. Yeah. It's very good. I don't mind cooking. Just like most of the time, I don't got time to cook, but I do it. He does do it. He does do it. I don't mind cooking either. But I'm going to be honest. I feel like my food is more, it's less appreciated than dad's. What do you mean? <laughs> like... I'd rather him cook, not no funny stuff, right? Like, I love cooking for my husband. 
because he'll eat. He's a man, so he's not really like, a lot. oh my god, there's a pepper in here, I'm gonna die. He just push it to the side and eat. But when it comes to my kids, I feel like they appreciate his food more. <laughs> you know, they eat it more. You know, I don't know if it's the extra salt or whatever. I love salty food. She loves salty food. I hate salty food. I hate salty food. Rude. But I, I'd rather him cook because they eat more. It's more simpler, like, right. you know? They eat, like... We don't complain that much. Please. I've been making mango for mm -hmm. London's whole life. Mm hmm She's eating it for the first time now because he made it. See? But I feel like with my cooking, when I'm in the kitchen, yeah, I've been in the kitchen longer than you. I take long to cook. Yeah, very long. Like my baby could just cook fast. She's done with it one, two, three, done. Mm -hmm. I've been in the kitchen longer than her. Yeah, he's very like, yeah, he does take longer. I would, I, you know, so... I don't mind when he, I actually love when he cooks because the kids eat it. And I don't know why they don't take my food serious. I don't know. Is it bad? Mom, no. No, 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 no. So what is it? It's not salty. <laughs> Come on. The most that makes baby. everything salty. But that's, not, salty how the, that's not how Spanish food is. What? Well, then I don't like Spanish food. You know. You, you know, like his Jamaican food, they're really high on spices. Like Spanish food, we have like a lot of adobo, garlic. You but we like to taste the garlic and cilantro and stuff like that. Right. Versus you like husbandito, they got like the oxtail seasoning, chicken seasoning, adobo seasoning. They have browning. They have this seasoning. They have this, the, the what you call those leaves? Oh, the thyme? The th yeah, the thyme. Thyme and scallion. Scallion. They have like a bunch of deep seasoning. That might be your only food though. That's like the chicken, but your food, your plate is clean. Yeah, yeah. I, My mom's plate is always clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I used to be vegan, so to me, food is not hard for me to eat. I can eat a salad and truly enjoy it. I don't like salad. It's okay. But... But what the kids do love, what the kids do eat of mine. Pasta? Yes, yeah, the pasta. My baby, the best meal. pasta. The cornmeal, mm -hmm. too. Cornmeal. Mom has me stuck on that. Cornmeal is always good. She put a hen and heart in that. Not just any cornmeal, your cornmeal. Uh huh. Yeah. And I'm like on that top 10 list right yeah, there. Mom made the best cornmeal. And pasta, especially. And pasta, yeah. especially white pasta. Mm -hmm. My last, last time my baby made pasta with um salmon in it. Yeah. Oh, so delicious! That's my favorite. Last yeah. time, I kept like that. My mom was making the white sauce, <laughs> and I the dry noodles were right in front of me. So I took like a five of the dry noodles and I dipped them all in the sauce and ate them. It was <laughs> so good, and it was warm too, so it was like even better. Even better. So it's like I have to make like pasta for them and then I guess they love that stew chicken mm -hmm. um, they hate rice yeah they don't yeah, like rice I but they eat it though rice, rice. It's just that they don't like rice in general mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they will eat it Scar eat anything Scarlet is good man Scar eat anything or anything she loves I'll, Jamaican food Go I'll eat anything with garlic on it literally Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's any true. type of rice and chicken and all the other stuff. I learned My baby eats, yo. She throws down. We go to the dumpling shop. You She'll be like, Mom, I want some <laughs> fish and dumpling and get me porridge. And she'll eat it all. Mm -hmm. my, my, oh, so, so, my dad yesterday in the car, I think, he was like, All right, should we get a Longhorn Steakhouse or should we get Jamaican food? I want And Scarlett was like, Jamaican food! <laughs> and I was like, Longhorn Steakhouse. And she was like, No, Jamaican food! She was like, none is stop. I'm Jamaican and Spanish. <laughs> yeah, she was like, you Jamaican and I Spanish. <laughs> I was cracking up. I said, this kid got so much character. It's yeah, amazing. she's a character in the world. You know? mm -hmm. I love my kids, man. You guys are amazing. Lawyer's tired. Lawyer's sure. tired, right? Like I'm tired too. Loyal. We all are. <laughs> but this food is amazing, guys. No, uh, this food is definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, yeah. If my husband had a restaurant, we'll sell out. The stew chicken, sell out. What about, wait, his brother's fried his, chicken. Oh, his brother's. Oh, Scotty fried chicken is good, yeah. His fried chicken is good, too, because I show him. 
I no. show him. I think when we made the best barbecue fried chicken. You actually did When you fried that. and I did a barbecue yeah. sauce, hands down the best. Yeah. You guys should do it. Yeah, but before he never used to really use the egg, and I didn't want to teach him. Right? <laughs> nah, he's showing up. He's killing the game now. Yeah, because he, he, if you teach him one time, bro, it's done. Like, he's taking over. He'll do it even better. Yeah, <laughs> so I was like, I'm not it's teaching on. him. So one day he's frying his chicken. He's like, How the hell yours look like that? <laughs> I said, This is the trick. Ever since I teach him that, boy, his fried chicken. He made chicken. it good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He Mom was in the top, good. and then she went down one, and yeah, that took over now. Yeah. Because See? she showed me earlier the strategy, then I add my own twist to it yeah. to make it even better. Yeah, yeah. So, Mom can't come close to me. You guys should do like a showdown, I mean, and I have cook, us judge it. I could do a cook-off with Mom, she can't cook nothing. But now with Scarlett, she likes it. everything. I know. It's hard. Stop it, I'm gonna go down. You can't cook. Yes. Forget it, babe. Come on. Imagine was Grandma in it. Come and Grandma on. and all that. Hey, come on. You can't cook nothing. Nah, anymore. you cra you cracking me up. I throw down some ribs. They cook ribs good. I ain't gonna hold you. Yes. No, I, cook, I, don't cook ribs. I cook fried chicken good. No, fried chicken, come on. I Remember cook that. pasta good. All right, so my I don't dad, cook pasta. So my dad cooks good oatmeal. Good. No, his pancakes oatmeal is good. It's good. My it's pancakes cake. is the same too. You but want I cake just for stop with the sugar. You kids want cake for breakfast? Come to my dad. <laughs> literally. Yeah, literally for real. Um, he makes oatmeal good. He makes um, his fried chicken good. He makes his macaroni and cheese good. He makes um, he makes this good. He makes his sugar dumplings good. Oh. <laughs> he makes his. She makes everything good, man. And Ma, she makes her pasta good. Yep. She makes her fried chicken good. She makes her cornmeal good. She mm -hmm. makes everything good, too. Yep. But it doesn't compare because dad oh. wins because dad has salty your food. Uh. <laughs> Come on. Dude. You're fine. Come on. You guys are Baby, evil, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I am being honest. Hey, listen, no, I don't I cook, love you're right. Food. I don't cook ribs. You cook ribs. Molly cook the best ribs. Barbecue ribs? Woo. Best. Chef showdown. She really the best, to be honest. Gordon Ramsay When it comes to cornmeal, the best. When it comes to pasta? The best. The best. Chef's kiss. Right. And corn no? should be I guess we got our things that we, we, got, we got a little specialty that we were good at. Yeah. But we're gonna do a show up. We're gonna do a cook off. But, but remember, yeah. guys. So I'm not Jamaican. So I don't make like oxtails. <laughs> I do, but it will probably be the they Spanish. Got Puerto Rican, yeah, yeah, they got, they got the French Spanish way. Accent, but you know, we don't put like ketchup and browning mm -hmm. or none of that stuff in our oxtail. Mm -hmm. So, like I say, the seasoning is very different. Mm -hmm. You see how we use sofrito? Mm -hmm. We put cilantro, the onions, the garlic. We blend everything up, and it turns green. And we pour it, and we season our so, food with that. Mm -hmm. They don't do that. We do blend and put it on the chicken. You do? Yeah, we do blend the onion and, and the cilantro. Oh, the cilantro. not cilantro the though. The thyme and the escalion. Yeah. So his is a little bit, yeah. his tasting is... I it, let, it, let it marinate from the day before. Yeah. Ooh. Make it the next day. Yeah. Best ever. The season is so <laughs> in. It's marinating like oxtail bone, man. I'm trying to tell you. So I think Spanish food is a complete different taste from... Jamaican food. But hear what though, because we've been talking about this, we're gonna have a so, couples cook off. Okay. So, like everybody, all the couples? Yeah, all the couples that are around, like me and mom versus Rob and Chris versus Crystal Chris and Ray. Ray. Cook okay. off. So, wait, but where are you guys gonna do this? You guys uh, don't have three kitchens. We can rent the Airbnb or something for that. And also, you guys, the rules are. You guys cannot cheat. You guys cannot look at each other's. Mm -hmm. So we might have like borders put between you guys because I don't want you guys like you know, cheating. No, they can't cheat my food. Cause everybody's gonna want to have to put their own ingredient, their own recipe. Because right. if you copy some other recipe, like, you remember, you have confident in your own recipe. You don't want to copy nobody when you're confident in your own recipe. I mean, what's it not? Because if I see you putting something cook. like, oh, I don't know why you're putting it, I'll put my own thing. Cause I know my food gonna be better. You know what I'm saying? You gotta mm -hmm. be confident in your own ingredient. So I'll make something common. Did I cut you off? I was gonna finish it. Like you said, what if what? I was gonna say, like, what if they didn't know how to do it and stuff like that. No, but that's what the rating is for. You're gonna rate who tastes the best. Okay. okay. So, here's my thing. I think I might make something common mm -hmm. that if you make this meal nasty, then you just can't cook. Fried chicken. You get it? Fried chicken, tacos. <gasps> my mom makes the best tacos, too. I don't make tacos, though. Yeah, my dad is not really You can tacos. make chicken. 
Put it on the taco. You could just use chicken, shred it. I never put it on the taco. taco. Put your little gravy. Put your lettuce, tomatoes, cheese. You can make it your if way. If he teaches my dad, he's, yes. he's going to make it. Yeah, he's I gotta gonna show me. That's it. I want to, I want to see he it one time. He is not going to make it ten times better. You hear me? I'm little telling little you, little I, I'm the only twist to it. Trust me, babe. I put some, listen, I could really cook. I don't think my dad could win tacos. I kind of think we shouldn't do that. Okay. Because we're going to waste a lot of mac and cheese. You get it? So one person should make a small portion. Mm -hmm. Everybody should make a different meal. Mm -hmm. So that when we're done, we could all indulge. But if everybody makes mac and cheese, what are we going to do with all the mac and cheese? Okay, so I think, really I think, I don't see what you guys are saying, but... I think okay. that if we cook all the same thing, it would be better so we could rate whose is exactly. better. Exactly, I think that's a better. Not like all different meals. The you different meals taste like whose is better. Two it's different not the same food. Meal. So then it would have to be like a cook off of three. What do you mean? Huh? Or like if we do couples, only like one dish per couple. So that way, you know, we don't it waste so much. Would have to be the same, yeah, be the same dish. Yeah. You have to be. That's what I was saying. That's what Ray said. We choose. Or for a dish or whatever, one window raffle, that's the one we all Ooh, gonna I have the, I have an idea. So, a couple's gonna pick like their, the best food that they cook. Mm -hmm. And let maybe somebody else has to try to cook it. Oh, I like that too. To see how they cook it. Oh, I, I like that, that too. Like that. To see how they make it. Oh, I like so that. So, everybody's gonna put their favorite dish in, like, you know, how they make it the best. Mm -hmm. Ooh, because if and you put oxtail, like a lot of people are losing. Yes. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. definitely putting well, it fried still. chicken too. Fried chicken. And fried too. chicken. What what meal do you think I'm gonna win with? Win? Yeah, if I should go in this competition, right? What meal do you think I should cook that definitely gonna make me win? I know this baby is loving his food right now. <laughs> He's in there like damn. Dad's a good chef. But honestly, I think um what's it called again? Either the sugar dumplings, sugar dumplings. <laughs> or oh, the fried chicken. If he puts dumplings, he everybody's definitely gonna lose. lose. They're not <laughs> Nobody can not make dumplings. Like, see, that's, that's automatic. Like, yeah. See that's what I'm like, saying? But that's like a Jamaican thing, though. They so all, you they, wanna do every, like a every, waste? Everybody not Jamaican, so I have to do like something that every culture could have in common. So why don't we do like parts with culture? Uh -huh. No, but oxtail is pretty common. Oxtail is common, so we can definitely do oxtail, but like dumpling, like sugar dumpling. Not a lot of people know how to make that. Yes, so I don't think it's like... That's good. I want that tomorrow with I want... Egg. We want, had that for breakfast. You got want sugar dumpling tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. I got you. I got Either you. Either oatmeal or... Sugar yeah. dumpling? Okay, listen. I'm I don't... Oh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't usually eat bread, so when he does dumpling, that's like my bread. I love mm. it. It's like yeah. really natural or whatever. Even though I know the flour has a lot of blah, blah, blah in it, but... I like it, like, the way he does it. I love, I love cooking, man. Like, I love to see him cook my food and stuff like that. Like, see, seeing that plate empty right now make me so happy. Y'all don't understand that. Like, <laughs> uh, that make me want to cook again. You know? Come so. on, that's my favorite food. And when I was pregnant, I swear, guys, the baby only like this. Mangu, mangu, yeah? mangu. Yeah. Uh, the baby like a lot of plain food for the mm -hmm. baby. Like, you know, that didn't allow me to throw up too much. Mm -hmm. So I love my food. Like, I can eat that every single day. My husband be like, I don't know how. <laughs> but every single day I can eat it with beans. I can eat it with eggs. I can eat it with gravy. I can eat it by itself. I can eat it with onions. I just love it. I could eat that. What's your favorite? Pancakes? No. No, I'm kind of going with pancakes. Good. I got, I got a new meal. I remember I cooked cabbage what and sawfish. Oh my god, but you know I, that's one of my favorite. I cooked a cabbage and sawfish. I was a cabbage and sawfish I made for you guys the other day. The cabbage and sawfish with water blend. You remember? Mm. It's, it looked like lettuce. With sawfish and you eat it? Oh my lord. That was lord, really I good. I eat that every day. That, that's, that's an automatic win right there. That was that's an really automatic win. Food. That was really good. But again, that's not my cultural yeah. food, so yeah. I would have never thought to make that. Right. But what we do make is like the sawfish guisao. How you say that in English? Sawfish guisao? Yeah. Just like a... But the sawfish cooked up? Yeah. Oh, we made that too. Like just regular with like, you know, like a gravy and the sawfish with Yeah, we make it with ketchup onions and onions and, and stuff like that. That's we made that too. So, and we eat that with mango. Yeah, we eat it with dumpling and oh. banana, yeah. So, so yeah. So. so that's a whole, you know, that's a different taste again, you know. But guys, listen, we we gonna stay tuned for that cook off. That cook off gonna be on, 
and every channel will be vlogging their side, their ingredients, and we shall see Who's what the couple is the best <laughs> cook. Either Crystal and Ray, Chris and Rob, or Shane and Leanna. Wait, what about? Cast your vote, Mama Lord and Papa Lord, they're gonna be the judge. Mama yeah. and Papa Lord are gonna yes. be the judge. What about and you, you're gonna be the judge too, you're gonna score So the only kids and Mama and Papa Lord are gonna be the judge of this competition. Yeah, because Let's you're see gonna... who's the best cook. Right. So when it comes to Christina and Rob, mm -hmm. I have never tasted their food before. Christina's food because Rob says he can't even cook an egg. <laughs> He said he'll burn the house down. <laughs> he Thanks says he's, he's not a big cook. So, um, I, I think I tasted a dessert from Christina. Oh, That's she made it. good um, cheesecake? cheesecake. That was good. That cheesecake was good. Oh, Christina makes some good cheesecake. Yeah. Man. That, that is really good. So. Yeah. So, I'm not a fan of cheesecake. Her cheesecake was very tasty. Very mm -hmm. good. But, um... When it comes to food, I don't think I've ever tasted her food. Before. You'd be surprised how much they probably should probably get down in the kitchen. I so, know. Guys, listen, I want you guys to cast your vote right now. What cup you think of the best cook? I tasted Crystal and Ray's food. Yeah, definitely. They cook good. Crystal cooked some good chicken. What was that chicken she made? The honey? Yeah, she made like two different types, like mm -hmm. a buffalo chicken and then like a honey one. Yeah, yeah she, cooked some, she cooked some good chicken, man, I yeah. tell you. So and this is going to be a strong Ray competition. Made some Mama and Papa the thornis. I make the thornis, but you burn it. Yeah, I think he's not used to my stove. Yeah, that's what he said. He said not used to the stove. But he said when he get home, he cooks some good rice. I think rice is very special to you right now because that's the only thing you brag about. No, but you're big on rice. I'm good at rice too, so. And you're big on it. You like a certain, mm -hmm. right? Like rice a certain way. Yeah. And then the two winners, like, do another, like, last round uh -huh. final. Nah. Final, so Look, I can't wait for this then. Mom and Papa Loyal probably aren't gonna be doing it because you know they're really good cooks. They're, yeah, they're really good cooks. like professionals. <laughs> they're good cooks, man. Shout out to Mom and Papa Loyal, man. They're, they're good cooks. They're the OGs, they're you really know. They've been good. cooking for years. They, the grandma yeah. and grandpa, they should so, be the best cook. My mom is definitely one of the best yes. cooks. Oh, Didi mm -hmm. Crystal too. Mm -hmm. My sister's top notch. Yep. Nobody is messing with my sister. I have to say that curse because nobody is messing with my sister. Mm -hmm. She will make you anything to the tastiest vegan plate, to sushi, to seafood, sushi. Spanish, Southern food, baked mac, collard greens. It don't matter. I'm Jamaican gonna ask food. Her for some sushi. She throws down. Mm -hmm. My sister has a thing with seasoning and tasting. So she always tells me these go together. And I'm like, what are you talking about? But she's really big in the kitchen. Like, I feel like she was made to be in the kitchen. That's great, though. That's Nobody awesome. cooks better than my sister. I love her food, man. I love mm -hmm. her food. You know, when it comes to my sister cooking, it's very creative. It's different tasting food. It's very creative. It's like, you know, it's not the typical Spanish food what or is anything it? like that. So I appreciate my sister's food. She, she, she's a, she was meant to be a cook. And little Gary. Those guy two too? Were meant to be cooked. I, guy I never food. tasted his food, I've but his I've food. seen him do pictures, mm -hmm. make it like designing food and stuff. Yeah. Like stuff my sister do. They enjoy doing that stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is gonna be a really nice cook off to see shit. Well, I'm always gonna say my husband cooks Bless you. Thank you. Better so than like anybody because let's be real now. Like, there's no way in hell Kristen and Ray could cook better than my husband. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, take some. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say that right now. There's no way in hell I'm gonna say Kristen and Ray's food is better than my husband's. Like, he's a. This is a challenge because he's a really, really good cook. I'm telling you, this is a challenge. Even I'm my ready, sister man. would be like. This is a challenge. I'm ready. You guys know, man. I cook for your sister. She loves my she food. She loves your I food. I cook for your mom, Mike. They all love my food. So it's yeah. like... You made listen, this for Mike. Before. I made it for Mike and Mike fell in love. Yeah. You wanted more. My mother, too. <laughs> yeah. At first, when I saw it, then I'm like, your mom acted like she didn't want it. When, when Mike took it, she uh -huh. tasted it. She come back for more. Mm -hmm. So... Rob, too. Rob, you made yeah. made him a plate of food, mm -hmm. too. So, he's a really, really good cook. Like I said, I think Jamaican should be top three best food in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm Spanish. I love my food. So, you know what I think about where my food should be. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I love my Spanish food and Jamaican food. But Jamaican food is really top tier. And I really like Indian food. I want to take it to Jamaica. 
I think I want to take y'all to Jamaica, take y'all to the real Jamaican restaurant yeah. in Jamaica where they cook the, the real Jamaican food. But I mean, really? like, you know what I'm saying? Like the home season. The home season, and, and, and I can show you their specialty, like what they do in restaurants. Like the special food that we cook every day. Right. It's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even the Jamaican fish and stuff, like the way right. they cook it. So the, the crabs. The crabs and stuff. So it's like, I want, I want to take y'all to Jamaica, man. Mm -hmm. But I don't think like the resorts is gonna give the real Jamaican food I think because so. it's Americanized. Yeah. Remember, they gotta cook for everybody all over the world. Yeah. But I would love to try your food. I wanna see him like cook breadfruit on the beach with fire. What? I, I, I grew up doing that. that. I know. I Me and my friends. See where he grew up at. I can't. Wait. I want to show you where. I, I, want, I think I'm gonna do a documentary on my life. Yeah, I think you should. Go back to Jamaica. Show Every you guys celebrity where. I know, they do. They did like a video about just like a video about drawing their life. Mm -hmm. Like you know, talking about their life and how they grew up and like childhood traumas or whatever. Mm -hmm. Where I grew up at, guys, is just. How do you feel about it? Right now. Right now, if you had to raise your daughter there. Oh. If I should, me being who I am right now with the, with the financial status I have right now? No, not financial status. If you were still in Jamaica and you had Scarlett with another woman, mm -hmm. I can't. what? You can't picture I can't <laughs> picture that. Sorry. No, but let's just say, like, how would that be for you? Um, it would be that my daughter would be mm -hmm. my grandmother and I would have to go to work. Are you serious? You know, my grandmother, I was with the mom. Right. And most of the time, yeah, both work. Yeah, both have to try also to get it. Because me alone will be hard in Jamaica. And there's an opportunity for her jobs like that. So it's like, we both have to be hustling to get it. Are you serious? I'll probably run a taxi right now. Wow. Driving a taxi, driving, running cab. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's how rough it is. Wow. And that would be like maybe a side job, and then I'm trying to do like a 9 to 5 doing something. You see, guys, this is why, like, he needs to do a documentary. So you could, you guys could really see how far he's coming from. I want to draw my life one day. Yeah. I think I'm going to do one. But my life was very Americanized. Mm -hmm. So no matter the struggle, you're just going to see more of the hood. Right, uh -huh. Than, like, uh, what was it? They called that the poverty level. But mm -hmm. it's still not like an island exactly. struggle, you know? But I think you should do that. It's pretty inspiring. You know, a lot of people relate to it. I was thinking about it, but I kind of want to wear a mask, take the bus, show them the schools I went to, the route I used to live, the mm -hmm. neighborhood I used to live in. Yeah. You know, walk around the neighborhood so they could see what I walked through, mm -hmm. how it looks, how yep. it's people from? hanging out outside, you know? Did you ever yep. feel unsafe? Of course. Yeah, I would have felt unsafe too. Don't worry. I felt unsafe a lot of times, but thank God we the hood isn't as bad as you think. I, I, they I, protect you. Is it the thing with you? Really? You felt unsafe. I never felt you unsafe. The opposite. No. Never felt unsafe where I'm from. You never felt unsafe. Never felt. Never felt unsafe. Wow. You always you must, felt safe. Yeah. You must really be protected. Because it was all family. It was a village. It was a village. Of course, you're always gonna like you're always seeing just them constantly. All family. So it's like my cousins were there, my uncle were there, people were there. I was never feel like I was scared of anything. Are they still over there? Yes. Um, wow. I got people in Jamaica that I know where I'm coming from that doing that's in the same situation I was in. And it's fine. They're still there. Cause it's hard, man. It's hard, man. It's hard, and you know. It's not easy, man. Some people are blessed, and some people have opportunity. You know. Um, but I would love for kids, especially my kids, especially Scarlett, because she doesn't know anything. She's very, she brought up very, very fast into a whole nother life. Mm -hmm. She don't know what the hell a building is and none of that. She's always been in the house. She's always, she's going to be in ballet and this and that and playing sports. She's going to be like, what are you talking about? What's like, a building? Like, what? you know, why doesn't that person have that? Because she doesn't know I have to teach her, mm -hmm. you know? But I I would love for them to see, you know. I really would love that. Even if your mom could record it, send you footage like, guys, this is where I used to live with my kids. This is where Shane is coming from. Even your sister could do that for you. Yeah. It's I just the camera you're going to need. I'm just trying to, like, get myself together, man. Like, to be honest, I just want to create um, well, financial, financial freedom. freedom. 
and be able to like you can't help nobody if you're not you're not in a secure position because the moment you have somebody if you're not secure you're taken away from your security right you know what i'm saying so until i get to security then i could say you know i could take out completely from me to give back right i you know? like that and i'm creating i'm trying to create that so until you put in that situation you then understand it you know some people come to america I'm sure a lot of you people have came to America and was like, it is not what I thought it was. It's Absolutely. a struggle and a half. It is a struggle. And you know, they just see like the good side of America. They don't really mm -hmm. see the bad side. Yeah, the struggle. Yeah, the struggle gotta, part. That's a fact. You gotta struggle. See they see the Manhattan part and yeah. the rich people. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, good <laughs> so smart. point. Yeah. A good point. Like, I like oh my that. god, America's like so nice. Yeah, they say there's snow on uh -huh. one Christmas day when <laughs> yeah. people inside the house they drinking tea by the fireplace. Families. Happy uh -huh. family. In reality, you gotta go in that snow, snowstorm mm -hmm. to go to work, take the train with the bus in the middle of the snow. It's no in the middle of the train, somebody's fighting, spitting at you, or trying to kill you for a seat. And It'd be like that, man. Yeah. Or like coughing on you. Mm -hmm. You have COVID 19, you have to be like clammed and you have to wear it like no words, man. Yeah, so of course people don't see the negative until they go through it. But mm -hmm. you know, overall you've done a great job and he's always tried his best. I don't really get involved with him or his money or whatever he does. He could do whatever he wants because he's he makes all the money. <laughs> he do whatever the hell he wants. But um I've see, I've witnessed him help people, so I'm proud of you about that. Yeah, I was talking with my people, man. Yeah. I sent a barrel to to, to make a last year. I'm trying to send a barrel this year as well. So um hopefully someone has to pick that up. Then. Yeah, I can make someone pick it. I just want to pick it up. So definitely, I'm gonna send a better barrel, like with more. I'm gonna be more specific in this barrel. Yeah, you should tie the thing Where up and put say names. for you. Yeah, exactly. For you, for you. So people don't get confused and stuff like this. So I'm definitely gonna put people name on it and like this is for you, this is for you, sneakers, clothes, and stuff like that. So yeah. at least that's a way of giving back to them. Yeah. That's it, guys. That's the um. Is that a cultural thing? It is actually, but some don't do it. Your grandma does. My grandmother. My grandmother does it. Yes, she does all the time. Anytime you go into a Jamaican house, you see a barrel and you're like, what the hell is that barrel with a blanket over it? <laughs> I be like, what is that? And so I start to That's realize. That's a tall table, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> My friend, she used to date an older Jamaican guy and um, we would go to his house. He lived right by Gun Hill Road and I would just see, I would see barrels and I'm like, what is that? And um, he, he would say... No, I'm not like, that's, that's nothing. Like, you know, he would never tell me. And then I got with a real Jamaican. And when you go to the Jamaican supermarkets, you see barrels everywhere. And then you go to him. And I went into grandma's house. I said, what is that? And then he explained everything to me. So, yeah, so basically, you Jamaican, they buy, they buy a barrel. It's like a big bucket. Yeah, yeah they buy a big blue bucket, the barrel. Yeah. And then slowly, slowly by slowly, you fill it up. So you probably buy it by the beginning of January. And by December, we're ready to send it off, it should be oh. full. Mm -hmm. So you buy a little stuff, little stuff, fill it up Sandals, slowly, you know? Yeah. And then you send it off by the end of the year. And then... And you can send it off every six months if you want. Some people do that. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. but guys, it's very expensive to pick up the barrel, right? For some yeah, people. for some people, yeah. So you have to... Cause you gotta pay for that too. Send it, send it to Wolf. Yeah. And they throw it a lot. They and on different ones in there, so it's like mm -hmm. a lot of money. Too. Yeah, the weight and stuff like that. And so. then they then to pick it up, they charge again. Mm -hmm. So to drop it off from here, they charge. To pick it up, they charge. charge. Mm -hmm. And then to fill up the bag, so that that becoming like that. That's pretty. That's that, it's a good thing. It's very good. You know what I mean? People get clothes, you get food, mm -hmm. you get a whole lot of stuff. So it's pretty beneficial, you know. Yep. So that's all for today. Don't prank me like that again. Because this one here is about to be in big, giant trouble. Guys. <laughs> I was so pissed off. But anyway, guys, I want you guys to like, share, subscribe. subscribe. Yeah. Let me know what you think about see this. See you guys video. in the next video, guys. My baby, you feel a lot better, I see. Well, I ain't, I don't feel better, but I, I'm like when you get in tune, you forget. You right. know what I mean? So how you feel now? Um, I feel the same. Okay. I'm happy I ate. I'm drinking my tea, and then hopefully by the time I go to sleep, I hope I could go to sleep. All right, you're going to feel better, baby. I got you. Yeah. So listen, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We want you to like, share, share subscribe, subscribe, and see you guys on the other side. Peace, Peace out. out.